browser stack tutorial hello and welcome to our channel on this video i'm going to show you how you can use browser stack so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial and to create an account on browser stack you could also use my affiliate link below the description where in a small commission at no additional cost to you and by using the link you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up but before that, if you don't know what is browser stack, it is a leading cloud-based testing platform that enables developers and quality assurance teams to perform comprehensive testing of websites and mobile applications across a wide array of devices and browsers, in which the platform also gestures for mobile testing enabling users to interact with applications as they would on physical devices. With its robust features, browser stack significantly reduces testing time and cost while improving accuracy. It also integrates seamlessly with popular test automation frameworks like Selenium and Appium facilitating automated tests on real devices. So now to create an account, just click the link in the description or you could also click the free trial button on the top right corner. And upon clicking on it, you will be able to be directed in this page where you can start creating your account using Google or by simply filling out the required information below here. After signing in, you will now be able to be directed in this page and it will show you some of the features it offers with your Live Automate, Percy, App Live, and even App Automate. But in those options, for instance, I'm going to use Live, and it will ask you a question for whom are you evaluating Live? And I'm just going to choose just myself. And after clicking on it, you will now be able to be directed on this page right here. Wherein on this pop up window, it will ask you to select a browser or a device in here. You could choose either Mac OS or even iPhone 13. And below you can also enter the website URL. But in this option, I'm going to choose the Mac OS and click Let's Go button to proceed. And after that, all you need to do is wait for it to load since it is now currently live and processing. And after that, you will now be able to be directed on this live testing or local testing option. It will start downloading or installing this kind of application to use the browser stack live on your PC or computer in here. But if you also want to switch the browser, just click the switch browser on the left side panel and it will show you in this pop-up window But all you need to do is simply select here the kind of devices you want to try on live. We have here Windows, Android, iOS and even Mac on the left side panel as your option or choices. And also the list of the browser in here on the right side panel such as Box, Opera Mini, Chrome and even Microsoft browser. Well under this Android, it will show you a variety of devices in Android and also this windows or even this ios in here so it will show you in here a variety of devices that you can start switching in order to view the live of what the browser stock website looks like in a different kind of devices but going back on here once again it will show you on the right side panel the safari or the browser of mac os so from here we can start navigating this part including to sign in our google account or you could also click this file on the left side panel, edit, view, history, and many more on the top panel in here. So basically, you can simply test the automation of browser in different devices on this page. And you could also navigate some other options on the left side panel in here. Such as to capture a bug by simply clicking on this option right here. We will not be able to be directed on this page once again and it will show you on the right side panel that we can start integrating and share bugs seamlessly with here using Jira software, Azure DevOps, GitHub, Trello, and even Slack in here. So you can basically integrate those applications on this automation for your experience. But going back on this page, aside from that live, we could also navigate this app live by clicking this option, get started, in which you will be able to be directed on this page. And as you can see, it has different kind of interface before the live option that we just clicked earlier. We have here app accessibility testing, test management, and many more. Now on the top panel, you could also start navigating the products and other features in here, such as bug capture, accessibility testing, and many more. And aside from that, you could also invite a team in here by clicking on it. All you need to do is simply enter here the email address of your team that you want to add or invite on this page. You could also navigate the plans and pricing this help option and even your profile account in here user management integration settings support contact and even the sign out option well under this notification you should see all of your updates about this website and other information that you need to know you could also navigate the search bar in here if you want to 
moving on to this website option or section in here you could also navigate some other options such as live bug capture automate automate ruby skill and many more or even change into app section so basically browser stack offers capabilities for network simulation geolocation testing and localization testing ensuring that application perform well under various conditions so for instance from here under apply we're going to select a devices which is android and at this point i'm going to choose this pixel 6 pro and upon clicking on it you will now be able to see here the automation of what the pixel 6 pro looks like when you try to use the browser in here or you try to navigate it so it is like basically swiping the phone or navigating the phone here such as by clicking the youtube you could also start searching here under this wikipedia so basically just switching navigating the phone in here well on the left side panel you could also start navigating in here on the other kind of option and as you can see i just tried to navigate this wikipedia on this simulation phone for example i'm going to search adam and below are the result of it so let's say i'm going to click this one and it'll show us all of the info about the specific person that we are searching on this wikipedia and we could also go back on our home page in here or alternatively we can start swiping up in order to see all of the details which is the recently opened up in here so basically as you can see we're trying to navigate here this mobile phone to test and interact with other applications in here as we would on our physical devices so basically this platform browser stock aims to reduce the testing time and cost by allowing simultaneous testing across multiple configurations which accelerates the overall development cycle so as you can see here we also have different kind of application that we can start navigating by simply clicking on it for example this play store you can start signing in on this account while on the top panel you could also navigate some other options such as switch device local testing zoom recorded session and even the settings but as you can see we only have a duration of using this kind of simultaneous for 10 minutes moving on on the left side panel we could also navigate here to open or move to our home page in here switch to android settings and many more so basically your browser stock features include support for live testing automated screenshot performance analysis and network simultaneous solution which collectively contribute to more robust testing environment and now if you also want to end the session of testing this automation just click stop session on the top right corner in here and click escape this part to proceed well aside from that you could also upload your app in here integrate with other kind of application and many more and even access some other options on the left side panel on this browser stock platform in here so basically browser stock fosters an improved communication and efficiency in testing workflow but overall that is just basically how you can use browser stock Thank you.